It was just a traumatic experience and I just didn't want anything to do with it. What I should have realized was that my body was actually telling me that I need to do something about thing, but I didn't. I just I just didn't do anything about it and I what I realized is that my body actually did get progressively worse. Delay is dangerous. Yet the wait for a health condition to become unmanageable before taking care of it has become the sad story of many Nigerian women. The exact cause of polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, is not clear, but it may involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors such as genes, diet, habits, and lifestyle. Hormonal disorder in which the ovaries fail to function normally. The exact cause is unknown. However, factors such as environmental factors, genetic factors have been implicated. PCOS gives off a wide range of symptoms, leaving women with the condition at high risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, obstructive sleep apnea, and mood disorders. Polycystic ovarian syndrome has no cure, however, it can be managed. So, management includes specific management depending on what the patient presents with, and this could be in the form of medicine or surgery. We do not stop our treatment at getting pregnant or completing your family signs. One still needs to continue to go to their physician to ensure that they do not develop this long-term complication. PCOS can be diagnosed through ultrasound and blood tests. Although there is no cure for PCOS, treatment is often done with medication, a good diet and exercise to help reduce symptoms and prevent some health problems. It wasn't until my body forced me to pay attention in 2015. Uh, what went from just not seeing my period um, at certain times or even having delayed periods became seeing my period every day for six months. Sometimes it would be heavy, sometimes it would be light. To be honest, I think that for me was one of the most traumatic things um, because it's at this point other symptoms started to show up such as um, I started getting facial hair, I started getting hormonal acne, um, I started getting bloated a lot, all these things that I didn't really realize. I didn't realize they were all connecting, connected to PCOS. I started dealing with mood swings, depression, you know, every, all the things, classic case um, symptoms of PCOS started showing up. Many may ask, what is the importance of nutrition in managing PCOS? But research has shown that a lifestyle change can really help people with PCOS manage the condition. When you follow a diet and an exercise, weight loss happens. Now, weight loss is good for cardiovascular health, it's great for insulin resistance, it's great for lowering the levels of androgens, it causes a rise in regularity of menstrual, menstrual cycles. It reduces the rate of diabetes as it you know, works on the insulin sensitivity. It also improves lipid level. WHO does recommend 30 minutes of physical exercise every day. There isn't a particular diet for PCOS, but there are diets that manage the comorbidities that come up as a result of PCOS. And this alongside exercise and the medications have a positive impact on the condition. It is highly important that women and the men in their lives are health conscious because delay is the real danger as it can cause the symptoms to escalate. If you experience any of these symptoms, visit a hospital, ask to see a gynecologist and get properly diagnosed or connect with support groups like PCOS Conquerors on Instagram. Don't be like me in the sense that I waited, I didn't pay attention to the little signs and the symptoms. Take action.